The purpose of this video is to run through the use of a Git server for version control uh, when developing GXP applications. So a Git server allows multiple different developers to coordinate changes that they make um, to a software package uh, when they are in development and the Git server can show all of the changes in low level detail so that you can actually push up changes or you can roll back changes very, very quickly. It's a really good method of coordinating um, your work. Uh, so the example that I'm going to use is going to uh, use this guy, it's a Synology NAS. And uh, the Synology NAS uh, can be used with different types of applications. And the Git server is one of the most useful of them, to, to myself anyway. Um, so when I was looking at uh, the use of the Git server application for Synology, I couldn't find any real examples out there. Uh, so hopefully uh, this video will help people out. If they use Visual Studio and they develop in that space and then they just want to coordinate their efforts, um, you know, in, a, in, a, in an easy in an easy sense. To start off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a file browser and I'm going to log into my uh, into my Synology NAS. So the local IP address um, is here, and I've already just kind of logged in. If I have the device say uh, remembering me, so your first step is to uh, download the Git server. So if you go into the control panel and then actually it's the package sensor sorry so if you go into the package center and then if you type git uh, you'll find that the git application is here ready to uh, to install okay so uh, once the git uh, server is installed it's very straightforward it has no options really it, it literally just uh, asks which users um you know which users do you want to have uh, access you know to the um uh, to the repository. Okay, so uh, basically, uh, in terms of what we need to do next, we need to set up a, an actual repository here. Okay, so in the file station, if you go and click uh, create, and then just go new shared folder, and for me, I'm just going to put down git, that's it. So it's going to be on the volume that it's there on, and then we just go and uh, set up that shared shared folder so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to give read write okay just to just to admin and i could give it to uh, to other users as well no problem okay so basically the the git folder now has been set up and the git server is um is running but we don't have an actual link between the folder and the git server okay so this is what we need to do so i'm going to open up a command prompt and in the command prompt, I'm going to uh, SSH in. Okay, so just actually one quick thing, just beforehand, you make sure that the SSH service is running uh, on the on the Synology NAS. Okay, so just to go back, I'm going to SSH in. So SSH, and then I'm going to go in as the admin user, and okay and it's going to ask me then for the, the password. So I'm going to go in as the, the main admin first, and this is me, I'm, I'm, into the, uh, I'm into the NAS. So the first thing I need to do is I need to do something called CD into the, uh, the Synology NAS, and for here I have its volume two. So that is the name of my volume that's uh, that's on my Synology NAS. So here I am, I'm inside. If you want to kind of see that, the name of my volume isn't actually volume one, it's actually volume two. I have another Synology NAS and I, I won't go into that detail, but essentially this is the volume two. And then obviously then you can see that Git sits on that volume, okay? So right now we'll go back into our We'll go back into our um, our command prompt. So what I want to do first off is I want to create a, a directory basically. So I am going to create a, a effectively a, a Git repository inside the Git folder. Okay. So what I type is I type Git init bear. And then I'm going to type in, it's the name of an application I'm going to use in my example. Uh, it's gdp encrypt dot git. Okay. So I've created that guy there. So 
he literally he should be inside if i go in here to git i see gdp encrypt.git so that's perfect so that's basically the first part um of the uh, of the of the video done and the next part now then is to open up visual studio okay so what i have on my desk here is visual studio or sorry i have a visual studio project and i've gdp encrypt here and if you open up the gdp encrypt guy what i can see here is that i have a a repository basically a git repository set up right already in advance so just ahead of this i'm just going to delete those because i can just i can recreate them then um just just for the purposes of this video so i'm going to open up this guy and here we have it it's just uh, it's just opening okay so this application i don't need to go into the the, the full kind of spectrum of its use right but uh, the purpose of the video is heavily to show how to set up the git repository and then how you can have multiple users using the synology nas you know and actually working on an application at the same time where you fetch and push and pull the the versioning you know and uh you know so the very first thing that i need to do is set up a local repository so this guy is sitting on my desktop and i'm going to literally just go down and i'm going to go add to source control kit okay and what that's going to do there is it's basically going to create a a local um a local set of files inside my project so if i go back in i can see i have this guy git and then i have these two other files here which are very important um if you can't see them they basically it's just they're down as hidden items to a large extent okay so this guy now has been put into a kind of a, a space by where it has a source code control, but again, only on my desktop. So what we want to do now is we want to push it out to the Synology NAS. We want to push it out so it goes up to here. Okay, so here I'm going to put the push to publish to git repo. And I'll just go through this just very quickly. I'll just copy in what I need so i'm going to go ssh admin this is the ip address of my synology nas i'm not accessing this nas externally in this example here and then basically i just put down the actual address so for me again it was volume 2 git gdp encrypt.git okay so now i'm going to do a publish and this the git server is asking for a password so i'm going to put in the admin password and then I'm just going to select OK. So you'll see down below that this guy has successfully then pushed out to the repository. OK, so that's that's exactly what we were looking for. The name of the machine that I'm on, that's called APPC1. OK, so I'm going to now go off and do a test where I'm going to go to another machine. And you can see this guy here is called APPC8. And I am going to clone down locally uh, from the Synology NAS okay so if i open up visual studio i'm on a separate machine and i'm pretending to be another programmer within an office environment okay so i'm going to go clone repository and here i'm going to type in the name of the well the path basically so i'm using the admin account but of course i can use other accounts you know if they have the permission then the ip address etc and heading off to that repository here that's just a place i'm just going to put it for right now i might as well and then i'm just going to hit the clone button so what's happening here is that it goes off then and it asks my synology nas uh, for the for the password for the for the permission and basically what it's going to do on this separate machine is download and take the entire project and it's going to create a local version then again okay so that guy is is uh, has gone off and here I can see my project then, and I'm on obviously the separate machine. So if I want to open up, say for example, the main form, I, what I could do is I could make some kind of a small change. So maybe if I go into view code, and here, for example, what I'm going to do is I just type in, say, uh, test one, that's it and i'm just going to do a save on it and you can see that something has happened to the main form as in it it, it automatically is is uh, determining that something has occurred 
And then what I can do then is I can go off to effectively, you can see this area, Git changes. So I have made some kind of changes and I'll just put down a uh, test, test one. Then I just go literally commit it all, etc. So I have some kind of change which has occurred in the, in the source code. And basically what I can do then is I can do some kind of a, a sync as such, you know, so I can go off now and I can, uh, you know, push my changes uh, up to the, um, uh, to the repository. So I'll show possibly how to do that in another, um, in another video, but you get kind of the idea that I have the, there's the, this, this program here sitting on this machine, APPC8. We have then the software then sitting here, um, in this location as well. And ultimately these are only, um, local instances of the software. The actual, the master is held up, um, in the, in the Git server on the Synology NAS. Okay, so if you, if there will also be an accompanying blog uh, with this video and uh, hopefully uh, you should take um, any of the missing details out of that, but it literally setting up the repository on the Synology server is, is really as simple as what I've shown. Thank you very much.